So uh, my project is Microbots. It's quite similar to uh, Wheels extension. It's uh, also a browser extension, a Chrome extension that kind of allows you to interact with your own node and make payments directly from your browser. Uh, it was originally an hackathon project we did in Lisbon some months ago. Uh, and I kind of uh, took this code. I didn't touch the client side part. It was mostly like untouched. Uh, but I really uh, worked on the server side part, like the backend part to make it a bit more solid and secure and, and everything. Uh, the idea was that, yeah, micropayments are cool, uh, but only if you don't have to make them manually. Like, we don't want to copy and paste invoices uh, from your browser to your and lightning node for like five satoshis or something like that. Um, the, the problem is, yeah, uh, there are like many steps that are kind of annoying. Uh, you have to copy paste or scan QR codes. It's kind of bad if you're making uh, very small payments. Uh, so how can we solve that? Uh, obviously with the browser extension. Like nowadays we can do everything with browser extensions. Um, the architecture, uh, speaking of the like um, backend part, which is the most interesting part, uh, is basically uh, derived from the C Lighting architecture. Obviously, I modified directly C Lighting. So this is the original architecture, and what I did is basically adding another uh, extra daemon, which is called the HTTPD, uh, which is actually not the JSON RPC. Uh, it's like a completely different uh, thing, uh, so that you can directly expose it on the web. It's uh, encrypted with HTTPS, uh, and you cannot like withdraw funds, this kind of stuff. So it's safe to, uh, to expose on the web. Uh, and the reason why I uh, drew the HTTPD uh, square like that is because it's uh, very, very like not unstable, but crappy. I would say, uh, I, like it's like an HTTP server written in C in one week, and I'm, I'm not that familiar with C, so uh, I think this can sums up pretty well. Uh, like the end result, there are like buffer overflows. I'm not really checking when I write, and like, whatever it works for small payloads, so I think it's fine. Uh, so there are many like security concerns uh, in, in this model. Like, first of all, browsers are like huge security holes. Uh, if you think about how many devices have been hacked through WebKit, like consoles, uh, iPhones, I think there were like jailbreaks uh, through WebKit. Uh, I think also uh, desktop computers. So uh, the issue is that they store your authentication token. So even if you have uh, like a properly authenticated, uh, encrypted uh, channel, communication channel with your uh, node back home, uh, the keys are still in a quite, let's say, unsafe place. Uh, and also website could be malicious. So I, I'm really focusing on, the, the goal of the project was to focus on automatic payments. Like literally, uh, uh, you, don't have, you don't even have to uh, approve the single payment. It's ju it just goes automatically. Uh, and website could be malicious. So maybe you authorize a website because you kind of trust it, uh, but then it, uh, it is malicious and can kind of uh, empty your, your world. So there are like some mitigations. Uh, first of all, you can rate limit payments. I think the default rate limiting is 30 or 60 per minute, so it's quite reasonable. You can still <coughs> make many fast uh, automatic payments, but it's not too many. Uh, you can set daily limits in uh, Satoshis, and it's customizable. Also, the rate limit is customizable. Um, and you uh, can kind of allow the user to decide if, he, if it really trusts the website to make automatic payments, or if it doesn't really trust it that much to uh, ask for an authorization for each single payment. So it would be, the flow would be more similar to a like, Quills extension. Uh, so yeah, the flow to like install this whole thing is that you install the browser extension and it kind of generates client-side uh, an authentication token, which is random, I guess. Uh, I mean, I, I think it should be safely random. It, it is random, I, I don't know about the uh, safety feature of JavaScript. Uh, and in theory, it never leaves the browser. Maybe it gets uploaded to Google servers. Uh, I don't know how the synchronization thing works, but yeah, we kind of trust Google, so whatever, it's fine. Uh, then you go to your uh, shell, yeah, you type this command, which is Lightning CLI, authorized browser, you paste the, uh, the long authorization token. You can also customize the daily limits and rate limiting stuff, uh, and then profit, basically. Uh, you can immediately connect to your, uh, to your node. Uh, so the logic of the demo, basically the, the kind of product I'm making is a library, so it doesn't really work by itself, it doesn't have any sense. Uh, so the demo we showed um, at the, the hackathon was a, uh, we called it Netflix, it's pretty much a web streaming service where you pay 
kind of uh, we would like to say pay for each second of video you watch but it's a reason a reasonable you pay i think for every like five or ten seconds of video you watch so the idea is yeah basically a netflix but a pay per use netflix not a uh, flat rate netflix uh, and i should make a little disclaimer before uh, because i i originally thought that this demo was like super cool uh, and i still think so because it's very cool to see like the video playing seamlessly uh, while payments are uh, going on in the background uh, but I also kind of changed my, my mind a little bit and I think that the psychological barrier to pay per use services in general is probably too high so I, I think I, I wouldn't actually use a service like that I, I would still prefer to pay like a flat rate, monthly flat rate for Netflix instead of using that so I, I think it's kind of useless as a demo but it's also very cool because it shows how fast everything is and also I should point out that I'm running uh, two lighting nodes on my machine, so this is probably like the uh, best case scenario, obviously, because two nodes on the same machine with a direct channel, no ops, no everything, so it's super fast. In a like, realistic case, it's probably not as fast, but uh, whatever. Uh, so this is the basically the home screen. Uh, there are like instructions uh, at the right, because at this hackathon, there were judges that were, they were like playing with your own, your own product, you weren't explaining to them. So we made this kind of instruction to help them uh, get their mind around it. Uh, initially, you have to authorize the, uh, the, let's say, the website. So it's kind of like when you have to authorize uh, a Google Hangouts to access your webcam. The first time you do visit the website, uh, the website can ask for the authorization. Uh, and this is the uh, authorization pop-up. Uh, maybe you cannot see, but this is the, the checkbox is a little bot. It, was like, it took, that, took us probably two or three hours to figure it out, but I think it was worth it, definitely. Uh, and you can decide if you want to make automatic payments or not for this specific website. So if you trust localhost, I think you should. You can make automatic payments. If you don't trust it, then uh, you, you can choose not to. Uh, and this is the other pop-up that appears when you uh, don't trust the website. So when you don't trust the website and you have to um, authorize every single payment, every time the website tries to make a payment, you see this, this pop-up. Uh, and no, oh, and basically that's it. Then there's this really cool to the moon quote, and you see the video playing. Uh, some fun facts before I show you the actual demo. Uh, first of all, uh, apparently I forgot to push this like awesome, color colorful UI, uh, and it was made on this laptop. But then I changed laptop, so I wiped this one before coming here to the US. So it's lost forever, and we have the uh, ugly old UI. So that's. Uh, quite a, I mean, you, you will not see all this, this cool stuff like I showed, in, showed you in the screenshots. Uh, another fun fact is that MP4 fragmentation is like magic. Uh, this is like, it's not related to lighting, but it's also like a very cool thing to know uh, for developers like us. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is that I'm just asking the server to send me a, uh, not randomly, but uh, arbitrarily long range of bytes of video. Then I push these bytes into the uh, I don't know, browser API, I guess. I think they're called media source extension, and it just works. And what's amazing is that you don't have to kind of synchronize with frames or anything. You just pick some bytes and uh, push them to the browser, and they work. Uh, and also, this is another fun fact, and it took me quite a long time to figure it out. Uh, you can see the uh, buffering uh, that happens like in real time. Every time you pay for a chunk, there's a little part that gets added to the buffer, uh, but they're not always uh, the same length. And I think this is because I'm asking for the same uh, number of bytes, uh, but the same number of bytes doesn't necessarily mean that we are asking for the same number of like seconds. So sometimes it's very small, maybe the, the picture change quite fast, sometimes it's much longer, and it's yeah, also quite a fun fact. Uh, now we can try to show off the demo. Uh, okay, so it is, I already installed the, the extension, and I copied the uh, the authentication token from here, and I also configured it to connect to my uh, Lightning node. Now there are no authorized hosts, so once I authorize localhost, it should appear uh, there. Uh, so yeah, we can start the demo by uh, asking for the authorization. I will authorize automatic payments because I really trust this website. Uh, and yeah, it works. Uh, there's also the audio, yeah. And if you look at the, like, uh, down here, the buffer, you can see that it kind of uh, I don't know, loads in real time, and all of these are 
uh, basically lighting pavements. You can probably see them somewhere around here. This is one of the nodes. You should see that there are pavements going around in the background sometimes. Uh, yeah. And the video keeps playing. Uh, and that's basically it, I guess. Uh, thank you. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of it kind of similar to Will's extension, but also it has a streaming of M4. Is that something that's built into the extension? No, no, no. It's just the demo. Uh, I mean, we our idea for the for the Akaton was to make this kind of library and Chrome extension and everything, uh, but we didn't know what to use to show it off, and we thought that this could have been like really cool because you can see how fast it is. So it's basically just a demo. It could be a, everything else. And as I said before, I actually think this demo doesn't really make any sense uh, because I, even if these are probably not even tested, this is on rec test, I still feel kind of bad uh, knowing that if I keep looking, I will pay a little bit more. Uh, I mean, it's like psychologically, maybe it's just me, but it's not a good feeling. Yeah, so I will prefer to pay and look at how many videos I want. Uh, so yeah, it's basically pointless as a demo, but it's cool to show off how, how fast it is. Cool. Uh, thank you. Oh, and one last thing. Thanks to all all of the speakers and John and Chinkon. It was a really amazing experience. And yeah, thank you.